because the earth rests in primordial water and it's indicated by this skeletal jaw here because that's a place of death. You have the middle world which the Myasaurus floated in this uh, primordial sea as either a disc or a square like a house or a cornfield or a turtle or other type of reptile. And in the middle you have the axis mundi, the drawing here is based on some carvings from Palenque. And then you have the upper world, the realms above the earth that are home of the celestial gods, home of the heavenly bodies. And the idea is that when the Maya king died, like the hero twins, he descends to the underworld, but then he has an apotheosis which transforms him into a, a glorious ancestor. And he, on top you have these, this loop that represents the path of the sun, moon, and stars across the sky. And you have this different version of the principal bird deity who is a symbol of the sky. So skeletal jaws for death, the uh, bird above for representation of the upper. Who did world. you say that helped you with it? Doug Hansen and who was I? Doug Hansen. Was... Well, no, the, uh, the drawing is by Vivian Schaffler, and Doug Hansen was her other teacher, along with John Pryor, who's from the archaeology department at Fresno State. So it was a special major she designed for herself, archaeological.